Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Solution 5 as Venice. So, let's continue where we left off. Carthage is ours and I think the next war is going to be with Pocatello. Because first, I don't want Poland to conquer him and get even stronger. And second, he has a crap ton of wonders in his capital. Just look at all these wonders. This would solve my public pressure problem. So yeah, we'll probably do that. Or I mean ideology pressure, you know what I mean. Not to mention I would love to have all these wonders, not just for tourism, but for their actual effects. However, declaring war on him in the next 40 turns would involve breaking the coalition of friendship, which is probably still worth it. If it starts looking like he's losing to Poland, I will declare war. I'm not going to wait until Poland takes Mosankani, because that would be a disaster. But it's fine right now, we have vision around the city, so we'll see if anything is happening. I don't think he can win against Poland. At least that seems rather unlikely. But we'll see. Anyway, trade route, what can we do here? Probably send it to Poland, that's not the best trade route. Actually, I don't plan going to war with Carthage anymore. At least not anytime soon, unless I have to take Constantinople. But it should be fine to just send a trade route to them. There's no way they will attack me. They are crippled. They are pretty much irrelevant in this game now. Yep, we can send a trade route there. And I think that's it on this turn. We are building National Epic in Venice because I kind of need it. And that's that. We do have quite a lot of gold. Yeah, Casimir is plotting against us, but that's not exactly surprising. We have opposing ideologies. So I will have to keep him busy or we will end up at war. We will probably end up fighting each other sooner or later anyway. That's going to be really hard to avoid or even impossible to avoid. But I'll try to avoid that as long as possible. I could get America to attack someone. I don't want America to just sit on their continent and get ahead of everyone. Okay, this is a little bit too much. <laughs> Are you crazy? I'm not paying you that much. What about Carthage? Yeah, he would attack Carthage. I think I'll do that. Just to keep him busy, get him to work on his military a bit more, instead of focusing on getting ahead. No. 11 gold? No. There, that's good enough. And promotion? Let's get cover one. And heal back to full, get a trading post. Okay, what about these roads? We should remove some of these roads down here and repair the improvements. I'll need some military techs before war with Pocatello. It would be nice to get artillery, because I kind of need artillery for my next war. We might have to do that. I really wanted to go for plastics as fast as possible, but I seriously need to take Mosankani. If Poland takes Mosankani, this game will get much, much harder. Oh, also, we need a workboat here. There, to hook up the whales. And I need a road. I think we can finish that lumber mill later. I need a road to Lublin. Because that way we'll be able to connect Antana Bananarivo and Carthage through harbors. Harbor from Lublin to Antanarivo. And we don't need the explorer anymore, I suppose. Just disband him. No need to pay maintenance for him. And we will continue the road to Vilnius, obviously. And disband this guy as well. We are pretty much done exploring here. So disband that guy. He's not needed anymore. And yeah, we need to repair all that stuff here. You will just chill in Kaisel, and we do have one more worker in Kaisel. Who's not doing anything useful. And... I might need one more road section, although this one should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, road. We need a few road sections here. Hook up the whales. And... Well, that's that. Next. Getting ready for war will take a little bit of time. I actually kind of hope that Pocatello won't lose too quickly. Because, you know, I don't want to be a backstabber all that much. And we still got that research agreement. I want that research agreement to fire. Good day. And we need a new research agreement with Washington. 
I already missed out on one research element with Carthage. I don't want to miss out on this one. So, yeah, he needs to not die in the next 16 turns. Akadaika will be very easy to take, so there's that. Especially if we get artillery. I kind of really need artillery. I hate delaying plastics. But we seriously need artillery. I let steam power finish because we only need three more turns. And we'll go for dynamite. We should be able to get dynamite in around 16 turns. We still need two more policies to get rationalism finisher. Also, in case you're wondering what I'm doing with my faith, I'm saving up for great scientists. Because science will be a problem. And I need to think about that. So yeah, we are saving for great scientists specifically. And probably for some great engineers. I'll need both. I will need some great engineers to rush my spaceship parts. If we end up going for spaceship. The Mongols entered modern era. The Mongols are actually doing really well in this game. They often fall behind in late game. But he's actually keeping up really well. He's only three takes behind America. America is getting a little bit too far ahead. Which is why I want to keep him at war if possible. It doesn't matter that it's not a relevant war. But he needs to be at war. I hope I'll be able to get him to fight Poland a little bit later. Choose host. That's going to be America for sure. I mean, I could vote for Poland, but... Maybe I should. I will get a negative modifier. If I vote for America now. It will be temporary, but... Actually, I think I'll vote for Poland for now. Poland wants to embargo America. I actually want that to pass. I did sell my votes. Okay, so that was yet another crash. And this has definitely something to do with the mercenaries mod. I hope it's not going to happen again, but it probably will. Okay, seems fine for now. It didn't crash, good. And we stole something, nice. We can get navigation, we can get fertilizer. But I already researched a little bit of fertilizer. This is still 2500 science, this is probably worth more than navigation. Yeah, it's actually worth around 500 more science than navigation. Which is just one turn of research, but you know. We'll be closer to dynamite that way. And we are prioritizing dynamite right now. It wouldn't really make any sense to steal navigation. Let's get fertilizer. So, there's that. Looking good. We can't kick anyone out of a city-state yet. Well, 35% is a little bit too low. We'll wait a bit longer with that. So, repair. More improvements. Let's repair the citadels first. That would be useful, you know, just in case we'll need them in the near future, which we might. Alright, hopefully no more crashes, but we'll probably get a few more. Unfortunately, we need a bank in Venice. I could just buy it, but I can't buy everything. Do you want to build some of these wonders? I don't think so. The Eiffel Tower would be nice, but I'm not sure if we can actually build it. It seems rather unlikely. Someone will probably beat us to it. But if I really wanted to, I could buy a great engineer to rush the Eiffel Tower. It might be worth it, because happiness and tourism will be a bit of a problem. In fact, it will be kind of a big problem. Especially if Pocatello goes for something other than order. Yeah, I kind of actually need the Eiffel Tower. Let's fight by a great engineer. Hopefully we'll be able to get it. Get out of the way with that worker, what the heck are you doing? How rude is that? Alright, let's repair the citadels real quick. Just in case we'll need them. We'll definitely need them sooner or later. And more roads. Like this. Alright, looks good, we'll shop the forest. Vilnius is actually on gold right now. That's fine. So, I really need barracks and armory in one more city. It will have to be this one. I guess it could have been Carthage, but I can't get ships in Carthage. 
Buying a battleship is not exactly cheap, but I might decide to buy a battleship in the future. So, 1300, this is not going to be enough, right? Well, it's almost enough. Let's rush it. Four turns. I hope no one is going to build it in the next four turns. We'll still get the gold, but trading a great engineer for gold is not exactly the best trade of all times. Right, repair the other citadel. You need to back up a bit. And... oh yeah, we can upgrade to actual Gatling guns now. That would be useful, yes. And upgrade this dude. I think we got everything now. Yep, no more upgrades. We got everything. Alright, next. Yeah, looks like America has great war infantry. Actually, they had great war infantry for a while. So they might try to build the Eiffel Tower. But I kind of really hope we'll get it. We only need four turns. Okay, repair the citadel. And you? Repair some farms. Alright, next. Six turns to get military science, that will also be helpful. And caravan. What's the best shade route? Probably with Carthage. No, with Pocatello, but this is the same one. 15 gold per turn. We won't be going to war with Carthage anymore, so this is fine. We can use them for safe trade routes. And these are very safe trade routes. I don't think anyone is going to attack these cities. That seems unlikely. They would have to go through my territory. Which isn't going to happen without open borders. Okay, well, more roads, just finish this. Oh yeah, that city is about to get an observatory, that's useful. And one more road. Alright. Two more turns. Fingers crossed, we kind of really need the Eiffel Tower. For both tourism and happiness, and we are about to get a great scientist. I'll probably pop science with him. To get dynamite faster. Well, Pocatello isn't losing, so that's good. This is turn 339. An academy right now would have limited usefulness. We can get 5200, it's not that much. Might be better to save him. We won't get massive amounts of science from great scientists as Venice, unfortunately. But waiting would help. We can just wait a few turns. Right, let's finish the Eiffel Tower first. Watch someone build it now. <laughs> I hope not. Don't build it. Don't you dare build it. There, we got it. Nice. Okay, that's going to help. Kind of a shame that I had to spend a great engineer on it, but it's worth it. Now, what else do we need? Let's have a look. Probably a lot of things. Armory. Also, that bank. Yeah, we should really get a bank in Venice. That kind of makes sense. <laughs> to maximize our income. Or at least improve our income. Alright, you guys are done for now. Until we get access to railroads. Is our border going to expand here anytime soon? Probably not. But it's not like anyone else is going to get this. Unless they settle a city. So, Embargo America. I might as well vote for the embargo, because I will already vote for the embargo with the votes that I sold. I hope it's going to pass. Jak ci się moja yeah, I need sugar, I suppose. Would he accept a trade for salt? Yeah, he would. Also, we should buy some more trade routes. I won't have the time to just recruit them in Venice. And it failed, damn it. Oh well, yeah, America had seven votes. The Mongols voted no, Pocatello voted no. Oh well, we tried. So, what's the best trade route here? With Poland. Yeah, I don't want trade routes with Poland or with Pocatello. Venice to Atlanta, that seems reasonable. So, buy one cargo ship here. What else? Carthage to Bejbalik, interesting. 20 gold per turn, wow! Alright, I guess we'll go for that one. I don't plan going to war with the Mongols. Anything else? Let's have a look. 
Yeah, this one is good, 19 gold per turn. So we'll get that one. And yeah, we can get one more perhaps. Carthage. Carthage should have a few nice trade routes. We could get a caravan there. Kaisel. Let's just get another caravan in Carthage or something. Alright, that's fine. There, done. And you can get another mine. And you guys are done. I could remove that road section, but there's no need to remove it. Yeah, let's just keep it. Actually, we need one more road section right here. Or, there is a road here already, we just need to repair it. One turn for military science. That will give us a few upgrades. Mostly for the Lancer. He won't suck as much anymore. One of the main reasons I like Enlightenment Era. It makes the Lancer line not suck as much. Because these guys have 34 combat strength. So they can actually not die instantly. When something breathes in their general direction. Okay, Venice is actually starving, really. Okay. Oh, I think that's because some of the trade routes expired. Let's see, yeah, we are not sending food to Venice anymore. And we should be. With this guy, I think. I'm pretty sure that was it, yep. Food to Venice. And that looks good. And you? Yeah, 24 gold per turn, that's pretty damn good. Repair that road. And we're kind of done with all the improvements here. Trade routes. So, Bejbalik, where will it go? Oh, it will go past Pocatello's territory. That's probably not what I want. Constantinople is fine. 17 gold per turn is good enough. And this will be a mine. And another caravan to Constantinople. Carthage will actually be a great trade route partner. <laughs> not Bejbalik. Yeah, this way you should be relatively safe. Or at least safe-ish. Or I could go for a safer option even. 15 gold per turn to the southeast. Yeah, that's just safer. It won't be as much money, but it's not a huge difference. This will be what? Good question, actually. Not Poland. I don't really want Poland. Yeah, this is actually not what I want here. Not that I plan going to war with Poland, but I think they might attack me at some point. We could still go for this though, 22 gold per turn is quite a lot. Alright, let's go for this one trade route with Poland. Okay. I'm going to need more happiness than this. We will keep open borders with Poland, sure. As in, open borders just for us, not for them. And we're done here. Do we need any more unit upgrades? I don't think so. No, we don't. We don't have any knights or anything like that. What can you do? Get a lumber mill down here. And a trading post. So how's Pocatello doing? He's still at war with Poland, but he seems to be doing okay. At least he's not losing. We need four more turns. So we will get dynamite in four turns. And our declaration of friendship will expire in 31. If I have to attack him, then I will. I'd just rather wait for that declaration of friendship to expire if possible. I don't want to be a backstabber. Okay, another wonder for Casimir. And cargo ship, Atlanta. Off you go. You guys are going to be unemployed now. <laughs> There's the bank. I think it's about time to get an armory. It probably is, yeah. I could always buy it, but... It's only four turns. Yep, let's build it. Sounds good. Oh yeah, also, we can probably get extra tourism from Oxford. So we need great works of writing from different eras and different civilizations. We might already have that, actually. Let's have a look. No, we have to trade. That's okay. Other than the city owner, so it can be us. Yeah, easy enough, we can get it without any problems whatsoever. 
All right, well, it doesn't really matter which ones it's going to be. We can grab this one and Renaissance. And that will be plus two culture, I mean, plus two tourism. This goes here. And the other one. There, plus two. That's the only theming bonus we can get right now. But it's always something. Hey, technically that was a 10% increase of our tourism. <laughs> okay, America doesn't like Poland. Obviously, they have opposing ideologies. I need America to fight Poland, that's what I need. That's quite possibly the number one most important thing to do in this game. Get them to fight each other. I don't think Poland will do it. Might be possible other way around. All right, let's ask America. I trust you are a Declare war on Poland. Yes, I'm a friend of liberty. Let's I'm attack just... Poland. He would do it. Is He's not even asking for that much. Five gold per ten. Also, I suppose I should get open borders with him. Or give him open borders. Yeah, I suppose so. We'll just give him open borders as part of this deal. No. We have the same ideology, so it makes sense. Six gold per ten? Come on, bro, I know you want to do it. Of course not. Nine gold per ten, really? No. There we go, ten gold per ten and open borders. That was a pretty damn good deal. And they do have some cities pretty close to each other. Like this one over here. They should fight. Easily. I'm hoping America will attack them through the sea. Like this. Poland has two coastal cities. So it's probably going to happen. We need them to fight each other, that's what it is. And another caravan. Let's see, Utike, yep, sure. We are making 248 gold per 10 now, not bad. But we can make it even better. What about that scientist? I think I'll save him for now. We can always pop him later. We are about to get the artillery anyway. So there's no huge rush. Yep, we're going to wait. Next. Some cities are building public schools, that's good. We need science, we really do. I could always buy some science buildings, but it's not really worth it in a city that we can't directly manage. Lublin is building a university, and we got dynamite. Good. It's about time. So... First of all, let's maybe work on this road. I don't need a road to Edinburgh, but I kind of want to have one. For unit movement in the future. Let's upgrade. So, upgrade to artillery. How expensive is that? Only 10 gold, alright. I guess the hammer requirement isn't very different. These are the only field guns we got. No, there's one more down here. So, we got three artillery units. Now we just have to wait for that declaration of friendship to expire. If we can take Mosankani with all these wonders, we should be in pretty good shape. But I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.